right guys um it's Lakeisha here and back with another video uh, I know it's like a different background setup and everything so I was organizing um my schoolwork and everything because classes start tomorrow and I was like hey I should record this so here I am recording this video <laughs> so as you guys know if you watched like my last first semester uh video I was not prepared like I just I wasn't ready because I was on vacation in Greece for like a week but it ran two days into the first semester so I missed two classes and I know what you're thinking two classes it's not a big deal you can catch up and the thing is I did catch up but I just felt like it just threw off the whole semester like I was just off semester last semester so this semester I was like I'm gonna get my stuff together I'm gonna you know be ahead of the game and I am I kind of switched it up how I organized things this year like um, I know last semester or last year I should say I was more like a paperless student so I went paperless still this semester but then I also printed a lot of stuff off too because when I was studying for finals for last semester I printed off like all of my outlines and everything and I really studied those so I think I need to like fill paper because just staring at like a computer screen it's just it doesn't work for me I need to like fill the paper have something in my hand I guess so it's like half paperless this semester and half electronic student whatever so I did also get another planner I went back to like an actual planner instead of the electronic planner um this one I got at Michael's it was originally like 26 bucks but you know they stay with coupons all you have to do is google uh, Michael's coupons and you're able to find like 20% off so I only pay like $16 for it I know it's big and bulky but I write big and as y'all can see I wear glasses and contacts sometimes when I don't wear my glasses so I like big big planners I like the right thing so it just works for me um the first thing I did to get organized is that I uh, printed off this course schedule which wasn't finalized until like a week ago so with my job we have to do our work schedule 30 days into advance so like in December before yeah like the end of December I was doing my February schedule and I'm like I don't even know how classes are going to be in February and it was just like I had to wing it I mean the school posted like a, a outline of the potential schedule so I did have that but that still wasn't like 100% because they could easily change like test days on me or something but for the most part the test um the schedule that they did post was the finalized schedule and it matched the one that they previously posted so that worked in my favor so I was really happy about that all right, so I'm gonna show you guys how I set up my planner. I'm gonna do a different view. All right, guys, so here is my planner. As I stated, this is the happy planner that I got from Michaels for like 16 bucks. So far, I love it. I used this planner previously for other um, courses and other um, classes and semesters, so I really like this. So I just went back to Old Faithful. So the first thing I do is pretty much set up like all of my scheduling so my January work schedule was already finalized so I was able to put in all the days that I work and then I just added in the school schedule as well and then put in some like eye appointments things like that so this is gonna be like an overall what January is gonna look like so here's like this week so I kind of did like a block scheduling system so like I did I gave myself like time for the gym time to review some information but then I know I work today 3 to 11 tomorrow is orientation so it's kind of like classes from like 9 to 11 then we get like a lunch break and then we come back 1300 to 1500 for um the clinical orientation at the hospital but then like you know i have my gym time here i'm only going to spend two hours at the gym maybe less than that if i can get done everything i need to get done early and then i even wrote down things i need to review and i even put down here like my youtube recording schedule so I'm literally going to live by this schedule because I give myself a nice, a nice amount of time for each thing. That way I'm able to accomplish everything I want to accomplish in that week, in that day. So like I kept it kind of simple. Like on days that I work, I don't go to the gym or anything like that. Um, even Tuesday, tomorrow, 
I end up getting an appointment to get some braids put in because my hair is a hot mess. I started back at the gym and my hair just, I'm natural. So all of my naturals out there know how hard it is to be natural and go to the gym and work out. And I sweat in my scalp. So yeah, my hair is just not liking it right now. So I'm going to get some braids put in tomorrow. But yeah, this is pretty much how I did my January schedule. I was able to pretty much do, combine everything, school and work schedule and even I was able to put in um, YouTube stuff and my study schedule. Now, February, the only thing I really did was just put in all of my um, school stuff. Because I did my February schedule. However, my managers and stuff, they haven't finalized it yet. So, I kind of just left this blank for now until they finalize that. Then I'll be able to really map out, like, the rest of my school schedule, study schedule, and YouTube Right now, all is just all of this is just school stuff, and that's as far as I've gotten. So that's basically how I did my actual planner and how I set it up. Um, I mean, just pretty much did like work schedule because that's like the first thing that comes out. Then the school schedule I put in there once it was finalized, and then I add in like all the other stuff: my study schedule, um, gym schedule, YouTube schedule, things like that. So. That was pretty much easy and simple. I went to the school maybe like Friday, you guys. I printed off so much crap. It took me like an hour to print off everything that they had up there. Cause they had like a lot of supplemental material. So I was like, I'm gonna take advantage of it and print everything. And like I said, I like to have stuff in my hand. So I did go to the school and print that stuff off. So I'm just gonna show you some of the things and how I set up my binder. So this is my binder, only one binder for one class. I just put in a notebook in here, like just in case I need to write something extra. But if I do nine times out of 10, I write on my iPad. So what I did was print off like all of the outlines or supplemental material, all that good stuff. And I kind of just label it at the top, like each subject. So osteoporosis, arterial disorders, um, angina, and my, like all that stuff I just put at the top. Now those are, these are pretty much all of our test subjects for the first exam. So I wanted to make sure like I can easily get to the information. I also use, um, use uh, these dividers on the side. So many of this information falls under metabolism inflammation and perfusion so I can just easily just turn to the information like this is our past the class so this has to be completed um, before class this is another past the class for inflammation and then you have perfusion and these are like all the all of the assigned readings and everything that they had posted so that's pretty much how I set up my binder for this semester it's pretty simple I'm very like an organized freak so it was important for me to be organized this year. I also set up my clinical folders. So from what I heard from like my friends who are like a semester ahead of me, so they're graduating this semester, they were basically telling me like, it's a big jump from med surge two to med surge three, clinical wise. Like they expect for you to like hit the floor running and know what you're doing. So I, um have all of like my med sheets throughout the semesters but then I even like kept and printed off like the skills check off sheet just because like this past semester I didn't do like trait care so if I get a patient you know this semester that I have to do trait care on I can at least like skim over everything I need to do for trait care which I basically remember but I just don't want to get dinged for like missing something that was really important so I printed off all of the skills check off sheets just to have because you just never know and you know how ner you can be nervous and might forget something so I definitely wanted to have all of those with me and then in this folder is another um, clinical folder I pretty much printed all the clinical paperwork that we're gonna have to have filled out and I just printed multiple copies so it's ready to go on first day at clinical which actually won't be till next Monday. Alright guys so I figured I'll give you like a mini desk tour of like where I study and create my notes and everything. It's really simple. I combined um, my makeup desk if that makes sense with 
I pretty much combine like where I do my makeup and where I study at, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna give you guys a quick tour. All right guys, here is where all the studying and glam and stressing and all that happens here in this little corner here. So this desk is from Ikea, the chairs from TJ Maxx, and these little pictures are from Burlington. This mirror is from Home Goods, and this one's from, these mirrors from Ikea. And these two things back here, I believe, are from Ikea too, just in case any of you guys ask. But I keep it pretty simple, pretty clean. I have my computer here, my um, MacBook Air. Some pens that I use to write all my notes. I normally like to light a candle as well when I'm studying. It just helps calm my nerves. <laughs> um, at this past semester, I also incorporated a diffuser, which helps relax as well if you get the right, you know, essential oils and everything. Here's just my iPad. This little stand here is from Amazon, and this is what I use to put my iPad on. So it sits up like this which makes it easier for me to take my notes from and type them up on the laptop. This is where all the magic happens. Like I said, the glam, the studying. Um, I won't go into the drawers. If you guys want to see the ton of makeup that I have, I'll save that for another video. But All right, guys, so that is how I prepared for this semester. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed the desk tour. I will see you in my next video.